Hi, welcome to USD 327's update. Uh, we've started a new school year. We're excited to get it started. Uh, we're hoping for many great things this year. We've got lots of new classes set up. Uh, we've got lots of new things happening in our buildings as well. I have Mr. Winholtz here with me today, principal of uh, the elementary or the high school. And I am Dale Bringard, superintendent. And we're gonna just talk about a few things to uh, give you an idea of what's happening here at the Eld Ellsworth Junior Senior High. Uh, good morning. Morning. Uh, looking for a, a good visit with you this morning. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that happened over the summer that prepared you for uh, the school year. Um, some things that we've changed or prepared for our new, new year. Um, one, construction-wise, um, well, let's, let's date it back. Last summer, we uh, new science rooms, uh, four new classrooms on the north end of Silverwood. The tech building was redone. Uh, tennis courts. Um, then this summer, uh, the kitchen remodel, which has been tremendous. Uh, a few smaller things, uh, cosmetic, uh, the band room floor re redone, uh, a few carpet in some rooms. Uh, oh, not to mention the, the new entryway uh, last summer, which is will be completed within the next week or two. Uh, all great things for our students, uh, cosmetically and for functionality. Um, Class-wise, we've uh, going with the, the career, college and career readiness plan, you know, life after school. We've added five new courses uh, that we are very excited about. Uh, entrepreneurship, uh, which will take a life of its own. Uh, the students and, and instructor, Mr. Haxton, will, will design and take it as it goes. Uh, one on the, on the lower level, our seventh and eighth graders are in a class we call CELLS, uh, Character Education and Life Skills or Learning Skills, uh, which is going to focus on lifetime habits, uh, organization, character, uh, everything from A to Z as, as far as their education goes. Uh, something practical, something that we hope they carry on from seventh grade all the way through senior year for sure, but hopefully in, in life. Uh, we've added a global uh, global citizen or global student class, kind of a multicultural cultural class. Uh, again, it's new. Um, most of these classes are going to take on a shape that, that we don't know yet, um, but we know we're heading in the right direction. Uh, we've added a ag business course, uh, which is very career oriented. Uh, we hope you know, we've had a strong ag FFA um, class and program. Um, this is another avenue for, for these students to take. Um, Tell me a little bit of, things. you've added some classes, you've made lots of different changes to the building. How many students do you have in the building? Uh, right now, um, we have 98 seventh and eighth graders, which is 60 and 38 or 60 in that area, 98 junior high and 188 for the 9 through 12. Uh, senior class of about 55. So. And your numbers have been going up? Yes, we, we graduated 29 or 30 last year, and now we have 54 seniors. We added 40-some seventh graders, uh, plus we've had some move-ins, uh, 15 new students. We lost, we always lose some, five or six. Uh, and that number will vary as the year goes on, but our enrollment is definitely up. That's awesome. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, your custodial staff, your secretary staff, your counselors, and, and the things that went on this year to prepare the building specifically. Well, I can, I can definitely start with the custodial staff. Uh, uh, one of the best staffs we've had, I've been here 20 years. Uh, they work their tails off day in and day out, all summer long, uh, overcoming the obstacles of construction two years in a row. Uh, on top of their normal routines, they have to battle uh, not being able to get to certain areas until the last days. So the planning and the organization is tremendous. Uh, they buckled down and got things done. And, and when the students walked through the door, the building was ready, uh, which that's all you can ask in this situation. They were tremendous. Uh, our counselors, secretaries were in almost on a daily basis, it seemed, during the summer at some point. Uh, August 1st was, was their, their mandatory report date, which is, is somewhat funny because they're always in. Uh, 
but they were in working hard, ready to go. So good. And the new kitchen, the kitchen staff was in over the summer too, kind of preparing. And our hats off to the kitchen staff. Uh, as you know, last year with adding OPA, which was new routine for, for the whole staff. And then they come in this year with a new kitchen. Uh, and everyone knows that the kitchen is somewhat sacred. You know, they, everything in its place and routines. So they were in early uh, going through not only their new menus, uh, but their new setup. And uh, they, they're ready and it has paid, it paid off dividends. Uh, the kids are loving it, we're moving through fast. We've had uh, bigger enrollments as we talked about and they're getting through twice as fast. So we're very pleased with, with the new kitchen and the staff. Yeah, there's been some definite changes and I think they're all for the better. Uh, really look forward to what the new school year will bring. Anything else that you want to add or that you maybe have, have missed? Oh, no, we're, we're excited. I like the direction we're heading with our staff, with our students, uh, uh, not only with the building itself. I think we've made great improvements, and, and it is something that uh, before and after, if you, if you didn't know the before, you don't really appreciate the after, but for someone that's been here this long, uh, wow, what a difference it makes. Uh, in, in, the, in the mindset, uh, plus the function. Uh, our classes, our schedule, our staff, we are heading in the right direction. I feel, I feel really good about it. I think we're on track with what not only our staff wants, our district wants, our community, but also state and, and nation for that, for that matter. Very good. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about construction, more specifically maybe uh, in the next segment and so forth. But uh, we're really excited about the new school year and what it's going to bring. And we'll have more to share with you throughout the course of the year. And uh, we'll get going here in just a little bit. Payton's Place, home of Ellsworth's original Western Burger, Jalapeno and Swiss Burger, Pork and Slaw Sandwich, Pulled Pork Sandwich, Ribeyes and Casey Strips. Robson's Card and Gift Shop is full of Hallmark cards, beautiful and unique gift ideas, plus the friendliest service with a smile in town. Go to robsonscardgift.com. Whether you're looking to build or doing a remodel, DeBrava Woodworking is your custom building contractor. 25 years experience offering high-end specialty builds. Create your own pizza from the crust up or enjoy one of our many sandwiches, pastas, and more. Buffet available seven days a week at Pizza Hut in Ellsworth. Sites Drug, your hometown pharmacy. We're always concerned about the health of our customers. Sites Drug, offering the same copay only with better service. The Caleb Schultz Agency was American Family's number one farm and ranch producing agency in the nation in 2015. Quote your farm and ranch with the Caleb Schultz Agency today. This area represents the North Silverwood addition. Uh, we added four classrooms onto this, and uh, these are brand new classrooms, and as well as an uh, entrance to the outside with handicap ramp and so forth. Uh, we'll look into the classrooms here in just a moment. These are two of our four rooms on the North addition. Uh, it serves as our seventh and eighth grade English and our seventh and eighth grade math, plus a high school math. The other two rooms are similar, uh, carries our 7th and 8th grade social studies and our high school English. These four classrooms were added on to the last part of the building on the North Silverwood and they were completed about Christmas time last year and they moved in just prior to Christmas. This is Kevin Haxton's new room. Uh, we added 23, 23 new computers, uh, a, a new interactive smart board, uh, which allows him to teach his accounting and entrepreneurship classes, plus his consumer, personal and consumer finance courses. Uh, you'll notice the, the the changes with the smart board is, is a touch board uh, without projection. He can take everything on his laptop, put it on the smart board, and to his students at the at the desk. Uh, very hands-on. The, the students can dive in uh, on their own uh, at school and at home at all times. Come down here to the last page. We have. 
you guys have to with, within the you know the bond issue, um, the the boiler and the chiller would both be addressed, and uh, we'd start to see some you know I think some major uh, improvements as far as the students see it, yeah, uh, and and staff as well. So. so this is a big deal. Yes. We're in the Silverwood Mechanical Room, and this is one of the areas that got some new shiny things that was actually old and, and many people don't get to see this part of the building. There's lots of infrastructure here, uh, new boilers, a uh, new chiller outside which replaced two chillers. We did many things in here and you can just kind of see by the newness what's new as far as the piping and, and plumbing. Uh, and you'll see some of the older stuff here a little bit later on. But this is parts that make our school comfortable and are w worth spending money on even though it is expensive. It's one of those things you just don't see, but it is what makes our building go around. One of the other things we did this summer was we replaced a transformer inside the, this part of the building, which was actually put in in 1967, we believe. And that's a 50-year-old transformer almost. And that transformer was put in by Bob Kepka, um, Bill Parsons, and Ken Winholtz. They kind of worked and, and fished wires through. Uh, the wires that they fished were an inch thick copper and so it's not something to be taken lightly but it was one of those things that needed to be done. This is our wood shop. Our tech building was cluttered up in a few different walls and what we did was basically gutted the entire building and we revamped it and made it more suitable for what we felt was our, our needs. And we took away some things that were here originally. We had an office space in here. We had an upstairs wood storage. We made that all ADA uh, accessible now. The wood is now on the main floor and students don't have to walk up and down. There are a few new pieces of tool or tools or equipment in here, uh, but for the most part, uh, we did keep some of our equipment back. Much of the worktops, the benches, uh, the planer is brand new, as, as well as uh, a few other things. Dust collection system has been updated. The dust collection is all of the ductwork that's all above all of the pieces of equipment. It looks like a big vacuum cleaner that's mounted up there. But it's really a new space for us. We're excited to have it. There is a classroom. You can see the windows just adjacent to, uh, to this shop area. So the teacher can be in between both the classroom and the wood shop and be able to see what's going on and, and monitor and help supervise our students. This is one of our newly remodeled classrooms. This acts as our ag business FFA classrooms uh, with Katie Stover. Um, very much student involved, uh, very hands-on. Uh, she does a tremendous job and the newly remodeled uh, classroom only, only helps in her, in her efforts. Smoky Hill Lawn and Landscaping provides quality lawn care, landscaping, sprinkler installation, and more. Call them today for an estimate. Known for their excellent steaks and amazing prime rib, let Ellsworth Steakhouse be your choice for your next dining experience. Just off the corner of Old Highway 40 and Highway 156 in Ellsworth. Call Anita Hoffines with Millwood Realty to buy or sell your home, land, or commercial property in Ellsworth County. Pictures and details at hoffines.com. Canopolis Tire Lube and Alignment and our team of expert service technicians now offer full mechanical services from engine repair to air conditioning, new tires, or a battery. Stop by for fast, friendly service. Fall leagues are forming now. Call for availability. They also offer birthday party packages for your special celebration. And don't forget to book your holiday parties. It's fun for all ages. This is one of our science rooms. We had all three science rooms redone. Uh, last summer, uh, all of our students uh, in science classes attend these rooms, uh, Mr. Cravens, Mr. Anderson, and Mr. Thorburn, uh, 7 through 12, uh, completely remodeled and gutted. 
uh, with new tables, chairs, flooring, walls, uh, technology, uh, what I believe was originally in 1950s to be safe. I'm not definite, but from 1950s until 2015, so a, a much needed improvement. Uh, this is our new kitchen area. Our kitchen was a 1967 era kitchen we had uh, much things that needed to be updated one of those was just the ergonomics and the flow of the kitchen and helping the cooks set up how they could be uh, we've done lots of different things in here it's a total rearrangement uh, with our new food service program uh, adopted last year OPA we've had multiple uh, salad bars in there now and now students get to go through two different routes last year all of that was out in this hallway uh, so it is uh, quite the change and we're really looking forward to how it eases uh, the service of food and, and helps the kids through. Uh, this is one of our projects yet to be completed. Uh, the approaches are poured. Uh, we are waiting on the completion of our city courts. Uh, our tennis courts are complete. We're waiting on the city courts to be completed and then this will become a, a parking lot which will be huge for not only for our students but for all of our patrons uh, attending all of our activities. Uh, it will be a, a, a large improvement. Uh, we're very excited about it. As we wrap up our school update, uh, any last words or anything that you want to say? Uh, before I get that far, maybe I should ask for the, or say something about this. This is our entryway. Uh, we secured our entry. There's now video camera over there that do allow uh, students to get in and out of the building safely. Uh, it's all secured. Uh, it's much better than what we had originally. And uh, it's an awning that is now closed over the top so students don't get rained on. And we're really excited about this as well because it'll keep us dry. But any last words, Mr. Winholtz, before we go? Uh, just very thankful for all the, uh, the work that has been done, all the improvements to the building, and thank uh, you know, the community for their, their support and, and their patience as we work through this new process. That's a great point. We, we at 327, uh, all of us Bearcats, we're really proud to be Bearcats. Uh, it, it's good that all of these things have happened and we truly do on behalf of the, the staff and the students and, and teachers, administrators, uh, school board, we really do thank uh, the patrons for supporting us. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.